Well, in recent weeks, we've been doing stories about St. Mary's Medical Center celebrating 100 years of serving the community here in Cabell County. Today, we're in the cath lab at St. Mary's, and we are joined by Dr. Daniel Snavely. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, and welcome. Yeah, so you are a cardiologist here. How long have you been with St. Mary's? 20 years, 20 years. What has it been like to work in this community, seeing how long St. Mary's has made an impact on the Huntington community and surrounding communities to be able to do what you do here? Well, first of all, I consider it a privilege to be here and uh, I'm very proud to work at St. Mary's. We really are the heart of heart care in the region. Um, it started many years ago and it just continues on. You're in one of our newer cath labs and the technology keeps advancing. I've never personally or any of the other physicians asked for a piece of technology and advancement that the administration has not found a way to give us and our patients more importantly. And w let's go back to that first open heart surgery that was actually performed at St. Mary's which is kind of amazing to think about. Um, what can you tell us about that first surgery? Well that was done in September of 1979 by Dr. J.D. Hara and he was assisted by Dr. Lorraine Rubis. So um, that was considered groundbreaking at the time, the first one in the tri-state area. Dr. Hara was famous uh, for the quality of his work and it really set the cornerstone for the advancement of heart care in the region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. How has things, how has that from that 1979 moment, 44 years ago, you know, changed so much over these last 44 years. The, the technology has advanced so much. Uh, the hospital has grown so much. The talent that has come into the area has advanced greatly and it's really provided top-notch, excellent care to, to our patients. Dr. Snavely, what do you see with heart care advancing toward the future? We've been talking about how it started 44 years ago with the first open heart surgery here, but what about the future of heart care in this region? The, the future of heart care is bright, number one. There are several advancements that, that we see coming in, in, that are here, actually. Uh, one thing we're getting ready to start is our mitra clip program, which is a catheter-based procedure to repair the mitral valve. We're actually getting ready to do our first case next week. Mm -hmm. uh, that has advanced greatly. Techniques in cardiac surgery have advanced off-pump bypass, for instance, uh, different techniques to uh, attach the vessels to the heart to sew the sternum together. Uh, advancements in the cath lab and the electrophysiology lab, uh, watchman device, various there's nothing that is offered that we don't have here with the exception of cardiac transplant. Mm -hmm. When you see these stories of these families that come to you um, year after year and see them continuing their lives to live healthy and fully, um, what does that mean to you? Um, that, that makes my life, uh, my career worth doing, uh, well beyond any uh, financial compensation. Um, that, that, that makes my work uh, worthwhile. Um, I came back to this area. Uh, I'm from Williamson originally. Mm -hmm. I came back to this area. I was in Cincinnati, had a great start in my career there, and I decided to come home because this is home and these people are my people. And not just me, all the physicians and providers, healthcare workers, it's, uh, w these people are our people and we care about them greatly. It's, it's an honor to be part of that. And what about the fact that um, you guys are so well known for your cardiac care? Um, it just isn't one person. Like you said, there's a huge team. Uh, it feels great to have that kind of support behind you because whatever specialty that you may need, whatever procedure, technique, uh, support staff, they're, they're here, and so it, it gives you a sense of confidence and, and pride to have your friends, family members uh, come to be cared for here. Okay, Dr. Daniel Snavely, we appreciate you joining us. It's stories like this that really, you know, hit home during this centennial celebration St. Mary's Medical Center is celebrating this year in 2024. And you can find more information at st-marys.org slash centennial.